I'm Carrie Heim. I'm herdsman of Heim Sawgrass Dairy. We are in partnership with my husband Scott, his brother Jeremy, and his father Lloyd. His other brother Rod joined us a couple years back, and the nieces and nephews are joining us also. Um, we have Kylie, Ben, and Sam that are part of the farm. Kylie and I are more the herds person, take care of the cows and the boys either shop mechanic or field work or whatever happens through the day. We currently do milk 725 cows right now. We do raise our animals from baby on, so nothing leaves our facility. Kylie takes care of more of the calves and while I do the cows, but we are there for each other if we need anything. Before we built this barn, we were actually moving our dry cows off the location down the road about a quarter of a mile. So we were trailering them twice at dry off and then to come home. And we felt that was a little bit of rough on the cows, trailering them, getting them home. So we went and we looked into doing a new transition barn, which led us to this barn. Cows seem very comfortable, very nice. With the old facility, the cows actually had to go outside and eat. They were fed outside. This one, they're all maintained inside. Deep bedding on the farm, which is easy to get on and off. Uh, they usually stay in their pen until about 275 days carry calf, and then we move them onto a bedding pack until they calve in. And then we actually milk them here and then move them into another, their fresh cow pen. So there's a lot less moving the animal, a lot less stress on the animal, which we see a huge benefit from. Care of the fresh cows have went down tremendously. Like we don't have a lot of events that are going on. One of the positives we have in this barn that we don't have in the other barn is the airflow. We do have the ridge fans, which they control the minimum airflow so they actually exchange air four times an hour. We have 14 fans on the end of the barn, the 55 inch, and they are actually our maximum airflow, and they exchange air 55 times an hour. So air quality itself is a huge difference on here. Just like I said before, the cow comfort of the animals is a huge difference from where they were to here less moving the animal, just the less stress on the animal is huge from old facility to the new facility. I don't really have a lot, but when we did, when we were going through the process of planting the barn, we did um, expect our dry cows to be in this barn um, with the steam up cows and the fresh cows. But then after it was built, we kind of did a little bit of rearranging and our dry cows are actually in our old barn. So one of my disadvantages is getting them from there to this barn because I actually have to move them through one of the groups here to get them over on this end. So that is one disadvantage. Otherwise, like you said, it's pretty new. Can't really say much about it right now. What I would say is the cow comfort is number one. I mean, we've seen that. When we put the collars on the cows and we actually watched the collars when we had the dry cows at the other location, we seen that they didn't get up and eat during the night just because their feed was outside. Nobody was there to move them around. So just having them here at this home location and having more hands on, having more contact with the cow, we feel is huge. So cow comfort is probably one of our big takes on it. Air quality is another one that people should look into because we feel that's a huge factor to the cows and then just overall the care of the animals themselves. 